Getting right to that breaking news in Monson, New York. Those attacks on members of the Jewish community coming on the seventh night of Hanukkah. Over 2018 to 2019, we have seen a 29% increase in overdoses. Generally in the state, it was a 4% decline. And for the last year, I've been saying we must deal with this crisis. I'm happy to announce that in October of this year, the Rockland County District Attorney's Office was informed by the Department of Justice that it was awarded a federal grant in the sum of $890,000 for a three-year program that would seek to divert from prosecution those charged with low-level misdemeanors and are addicted to substance. This program will work uh, after an individual is arrested for a uh, low-level misdemeanor and uh, given the opportunity to speak to a recovery coach. Day in Nyack in the town of Orangetown with the loss of life. I want to thank and compliment Chief Butterworth and the members of the Orangetown Police Department for their investigation. But I want to assure the people of Rockland County that my office will cooperate in this investigation and will keep the public fully informed. But thanks to the fine work of the Orangetown Police Department its detective bureau with assistance from the district attorney's office, Maryland police, and our FBI colleagues. That fear is lessened because the arrest was made yesterday. Clarkstown, where an infant baby girl lost both her mother and grandmother sometime this morning. The matter is under thorough investigation. We would like to compliment the police department, Clarkstown, and the Chief Ray McCullough, the Detective Lieutenant Tom Ronan for their hard work, quick diligent work in apprehending the defendant. It was an amazing job and it just showed that the cooperative effort of law enforcement in Rockland County can work to protect the safety of everyone in Rockland and particularly the people of the village of Nyack. My sympathy does immediately go out to the family of Mr. Gregory Boosie. We want to know the family that we will do everything that we can possibly to ensure that justice is done in this case.
snowing in January and we're going to go out and get that search warrant. And they have a women. Are we going to feel bad for them? No. Because we know they're going to do a great job. County Junior Police plaque, protected rate, rate from November 5th, 1976 to October 23rd, 2020. An appreciation for your dedicated service to the Office of the District Attorney and the people of Rockland County. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Best in her well deserved retirement. Detective Lieutenant Stewart continued as a commanding officer of the DA Special Investigation Unit and was appointed as a co commander of the Regional District Attorney slash FBI Public Corruption. or someone you know has been a victim of domestic violence, we urge you to contact your local police department or call 911. Please do not feel that you are by yourself. We are here to help you. My name is Charles Apotheker and I am the first assistant district attorney for Rockland County. Hi, this is Tom Walsh, the Rockland County District Attorney. Hi, this is your county executive, Ed Day. Hi, this is Supervisor Howard Phillips from the town of Havistra. This is Supervisor George Holman in the town of Clarkstown. My name is Michael Spink. I'm the supervisor of the town of Ramapo. This is Jim Monahan, supervisor of the town of Stony Point. Town Supervisor Teresa Kenny. Hi, this is Chief Ray McCullough from the Clarkstown Police Department. This is Orange Town Police Chief Donald Bowman. This is Salim Qadri, and I'm the Imam at the Islamic Center of Rockland in Valley Cottage. Shabbat Shalom to all of our community, our friends, brothers and sisters. My name's Nicole Carini. I'm a COVID-19 nurse in New York City.
I'm Senior Assistant District Attorney Kristen Torino. My family and I would like to thank all of the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff for their commitment and sacrifice. Thank you for your hard work and dedication. Thank you. Hi, this is Assistant District Attorney Nabila McLeod. I just wanted to say thank you to all the healthcare professionals and the doctors and nurses and paramedics and everyone who's out there on the front lines during this pandemic to make sure that the residents of Rockland County are safe. We appreciate your hard work and sacrifice and we want to say thank you and be safe and be well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.